pretend you're in a fucking dream and like live it. So the craziest shit just happened to me. I was like shaking. And at last I know my place. Guys, yesterday Tom told me that I'm getting better at controlling my voice. <laughs> I want a dog. Go. Oh yeah. We're going to get breakfast and then I'm getting my nails done today. Kind of random thing to do while you're on vacation. But it's just making me feel like I live here and I'm not too happy with the nail salon prices. 50 euros for a gel mani. Okay, you guys, so the craziest shit just happened to me and I need a second to just sit down and process this because holy shit, I was like shaking. So usually when I get my nails done, even if I don't like it, hold on, let's do it. Oh, it's a while. So anyways, I'll tell you guys the story when we're sitting down because this is, you're gonna have to get a snack for this one. Tom and I are just boat watching so that we can decide which boat we're gonna buy when we're rich living in Amsterdam. Right, babe? Yeah. There's um, a lot more coming as you can see, so we'll see if we see any good ones. Yeah, I didn't know there was such a sexy boat culture. Like, I knew that obviously there was a boat culture, but like, people do be having some like, Hamptons ass boats. This is chill too. Like, this tiny boat is barely it. carrying them though. They do look like they're gonna sink. See this boat right here? Super nice. We love her. Oh my god. What? You farted. <laughs> Holy. It smells like Pad Thai peanut butter. That's good. We're home, so I'm gonna give you a little spiel of what happened to me when I went to go get my nails done today. So I booked my appointment on this Netherlands website. I just got a regular manicure plus gel. That's what my appointment was for. So I went there, this lady, I'm like, I'm like sitting at a bar and she's standing on the other side of it. And I've gotten a gel manicure before. Like that stuff takes like around an hour. So in my head, I'm like, is this lady gonna literally stand at this bar for an hour? I'm like, okay, whatever, I don't question it. And then and she just takes my nails and right away she just starts cutting my cuticles with the cuticle cutter that's it like right away and I'm like I've gotten probably over a thousand manicures in my life from a bajillion different nail salons different countries and like nowhere do they just start cutting your cuticles dry like you need your cuticles like you put your hand in water in like warm water for at least like a minute or two so that like they're like softer so that when they're cutting it one it doesn't hurt and second of all they can just like kind of get in there better I was like are you gonna put my hands in water uh, she was like no she was like you just got a regular manicure and I was like I know but isn't like putting your hand in the water a part of a regular manicure and she was like no like you should have gotten the deluxe manicure and I saw the deluxe manicure on their website it just says like hand scrub plus hand mask plus hand massage I just wanted to get a regular manicure that's why I didn't book the deluxe and I was like I know I saw that but like I don't want a scrub or a mask like I just want a regular manicure she's like no we just do it dry so I'm like okay I'm not gonna push it I'm like okay whatever just I get really shy at the nail salon usually if I don't like my nails I'll just like kind of stay silent and leave and then like be mad at myself that I didn't say anything which is what happened last time I got my nails done so like I made a point to myself last time I got my nails done. I was like dude if you don't like it just tell her what you don't like about it if something's messed up and they'll just fix it like I have this like little pack with myself getting a manicure is a whole process like they'll put like sanitizer they'll put cuticle oil they'll put a little bit of lotion like this whole she like skipped through all of that and I'm like 
patiently waiting that maybe she's gonna do something else. She does it. She was like, what color do you want? And I like showed the color I want and she just went straight into painting them. I'm gonna insert a picture right here of what my nails look like while like right before she started painting them. I was just like, hey, like I still have a little bit of like dead skin on like this cuticle, like can you fix that? She's like, okay, so she fixes that. But it's like that for every nail. I'm like, oh, can you fix this part? She fixes that. And then she's about to paint my nails. My nails look like ass. And then she asks me, she was like, do you like them? And I was just like, honestly, like, I feel like I still have a lot of dead skin around my nails. Like I feel like my nails aren't really prepped for the polish yet. And then she gets really mad at me. She like flips. And she's just like, well, then you should have booked the deluxe one if you want your nails to get wet. And I'm like, I don't want a deluxe one. I just want a regular manicure. She's like, this is what we offer. Like, this is what my colleagues do. And I'm like, stressing out. I'm like, what? She couldn't handle that I said I didn't like what she'd done so far. So then she got so mad at me and she goes, go out, go out. Get out then, get out. Like she leaves me. She throws the uh, instruments, whatever, onto the table. And she's just like, get out. I don't, I'm not doing your nails, like, and I'm like, I was not expecting that. I was like, excuse me? And she's like, she like walks away from me. She's like, get out, like that, like pointing at the door. I'm like, you have problems. That's really what I said to her. She was like, you have problems. She just like kept saying over and over again. She kept saying like, go out, go out, like kicking me out of the store. And I'm just there with my like nail dust, like. And then all the other customers in the store, like they looked at me and they were like, like they knew I was right. Like they were feeling me. Like they were like, and I was like, bro, like you just made yourself look so bad to all these other customers. And I walked out and I get it. Like not everywhere is America where the customer's always right. But if you're asking me if I like something and I say no, you are not allowed to get mad at me. Like I shouldn't be teaching you how to do a manicure. Um. So yeah, I didn't get my nails done today. So we came to the seafood bar because we've been craving like mussels and it's like a rainy day today. So we just wanted something like some warm, muscles <laughs> and we came to apparently the best seafood restaurant in all of Amsterdam look at this first of all we didn't have breakfast so this is our first meal of the day I got a Bloody Mary it's delicious we got lobster soup our finger fish food and this is just our starters believe it or not I have the most beautiful blue sky above me. The greenest grass I ever did see in my whole life. So this is Museum Plein, Van Gogh Museum, Moco Museum, which is where we just were, Rijksmuseum. 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 We are gonna go on a really fun adventure. Oh, the Tom just thinks he can use my bag as a grocery store. Well, you use my pockets as a cabinet. Ah, uh, this is correct. We are going on an adventure. You guys will see what we're about to do. Sorry, I just got a burst of energy. Look at you, so cute. Let's go. The best chocolates literally in the world, the Mercies, but the ones that are coffee flavored. Hello. Hello. Goodbye to our motorbike. I'm gonna miss her so much. Come here, you guys. Bike market. Scooterrent.nl, that's what it's called. Amsterdam is a great city to be vlogging in because there aren't loud things here. Like, like wow, really it just got loud. <laughs> there aren't a lot of cars, there aren't like trucks. Like, it's just bikes and vibes. And then uh, we just ended up walking in the fucking loudest corner of Amsterdam since we got here. So that kind of went against my point. I do feel like if I lived here, I would be different. Like, I would be the menace. My volume is just always higher than necessary. Well, it's- You're yelling right now. <laughs> it's just cause like, that's just how my family was when I was growing up. Like they were always loud. Like people would be like, why are you guys mad? Like, why are you yelling? And we'd be like, we're not mad. We're just talking. 
day before our last day, so we squeezed in a bunch of touristy stuff into this day. Because we're like, we can't leave and not do these things. <gasps> the market! There's a flea market that goes on in Jordan. It's like the dream We found it on accident twice now. Yeah. I kind of want a juice. Bentley truck, yeah, that's my choice of lines. Tom and I are either early or we're really late. Today happens to be one of those days where we're- Five er minutes early. <laughs> pretty early. And today we're here at the Van Gogh Museum, which honestly, I've toured this entire museum hours at a time, twice already. But because I love you so much and I'm just such a fan of Van Gogh, um, but I feel like he's been pretty lazy because every time it comes, the same paintings. They never renovate it. Get it, babe? Do you get the joke? Who's the other Dutch artist that you... Rembrandt? Let's so... get in line, huh? Okay, yeah. Mm, gotta go and be cultured. Nice. We only wear uh, dress shirts now that we're in Europe. If you're coming to Amsterdam, you can't buy tickets out the door anymore. You need to buy your Van Gogh tickets online and you need to do it a few days in advance. Get on it, lady. Perfect little Saturday afternoon at the park setting. All the people just chilling. Guys, there's a parade happening. There's a parade happening. What is happening right now? It says break the sign. Uh, uh, excuse me. So we're just here, posted up by a canal, just watching the boats go by. It's kind of fun to watch that people just like take their boats out here and like enjoy just living life, you know? Like they're all just trying to have a good time. Like mutual goal here. No one on the boats on their phones. I love it here. I would so live here. Like the energy is just so good all the time. Like we have supported local ever since we got here. So like we've had all different types of stuff from like cute little shops. It's just like, you're, it's really easy to romanticize your life here. Why it's, not romanticize Yeah, why not? Yo, you only live once. Pretend you're in a fucking dream and like live it. I might do that. I'll let you guys know. House prices are kind of high. I've been looking. And I already know what type of boat I want. Right. I'm getting a buck feet. That's not a boat though, babe, that's a bike. No, I know, like in addition. Uh, in addition to your boat, also a buck feet? Yeah, a buck feet. What are you gonna put in the buck? Uh, my golden doodle. There are a lot of golden doodles here. I want one. What else? That's it. Stay tuned for that in like a few years. We're doing something that Tom never wanted to do and I asked him to. We're pedal boating around the canals of Amsterdam. Hello? Hello? Oh. We're coming. We're gonna go on one of these guys. Guys, these houses, I love just going right into them, are crazy and they're on the water. <laughs> what is that? So these are actually the only freestanding villas in Amsterdam, which means usually in Amsterdam buildings are all connected and right next to each other. You know, built oh, side by side. Bar. Yeah, but these ones are standalone buildings, so they're also very expensive. And that's your house right there. Damn! Guys, just out here living life. My boyfriend is steering, just pedaling those little legs of ours. So we're planning on just throwing a little rope on one of these boats and then they can just do the work and we can just kind of just chillax. But yeah, I don't think they're down. So you want to give a little update on how you're feeling? <laughs> so, I'm tired and bored of this thing. It's pretty slow and it's a lot of manpower. Is this not everything I said to you before we got on? I don't regret it. 
Okay, time's up, you know? Time to move on to the next activity of the day. Because my legs are not going to be able to take us back home. I bought this jacket from Randy Melville. And then we came to a Mexican restaurant. I got the jankest looking fish tacos. Tom got a burrito. I'm about to dig into this. It do be raining though. We do be a 50 minute walk away from our house though. It's actually 57 minutes, but I said 45 just to... <laughs> You lied to me? Entice you. 20 euros for an Uber, that's absurd. No, it's more than that. It said 20 and it was like, your fare is gonna be 1.8 times higher than normal fare because it's busy. My feet don't work anymore, so sorry. We just checked out of our Airbnb. We're going to Tom's grandparents' house to have the ultimate Dutch experience. And we're gonna stay with them for two days. They live more in the countryside. They live in Akersloot. So is that the countryside? Yes, kind of. Okay. It's 30 minutes by train. So we're going to the train station right now. So we're in a little cute Dutch town and we came to their local bakery. This is where Tom's grandparents live and we're staying with them for two nights. We already stayed here for a day. We have today and then tomorrow's our flight back to the US. But I will say, love me some Dutch kaas. So delicious. I got a kaas sandwich with tomato and mustard and cucumber. Mm -hmm. 